Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about some optimizations and some tweaks that we can make to improve the performance of Caden Live and to improve the rendering times in Caden Live. Now before we get started, I just want to talk about the system that I have here to establish um, some of the key concepts. So I am running um, Linux. I've got a uh, Intel i7 processor and it's got eight cores. I do have a graphics card, which unfortunately does not get used at the moment with Kden Live because GPU rendering uh, is still in development for Kden Live. So everybody's probably in the same boat as I am, not able to make use of their graph GPU to do any of the rendering. That's okay, we'll make our tweaks in the program and make more, try to squeeze out more out of our CPUs, okay? If you don't know how many cores that you've got, another way that you can check is if you open up your system monitor, you can count how many CPUs you have on here. So see, it's up to eight, so that means it has eight cores. All right, let's go into our Caden Live here. So we'll check the version. So I am running the Flatpak version, and this is version 19.12.3. So if you're following along with this version, it should work for you. I can't guarantee if it's going to work if you're using another version of Caden Live, but you can give it a try. We'll close that out, and I've loaded up a pretty sizable project that I did recently here. So this has sound, has effects, it has titles. It's about 16 minutes long. And we can see that the video is also 1080p and 60 frames per second. So quite a sizable project. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make some tweaks in order to make um, Caden Live a little bit more responsive. And what I've found is that if we go to settings, we go to configure Caden Live, we can go into proxy clips and enable proxy clips. So if you haven't done that already, try to enable that. Uh, we'll go into environment. Um, concurrent threads is probably set at two for you at the moment at a default. So I'm going to bump this up into six. So I'm not using the full eight cores. I'm just going to use six just in case my computer needs to run other background processes. It's got the, the power to do so. And I've also found that um, I don't want to, I want to keep it at an even number, so in pairs. So I didn't have good success with changing this to five or seven or three, you know, so I'll leave it at six. We'll let them work in pairs. Now processing threads, you want to leave this at one. Um, any number greater than one tends to crash the timeline and uh, it doesn't perform any better so just leave that at one we'll go into our playback we'll click apply here we'll go into our playback and i would like to switch this off now i've had some success turning it off uh, sorry turning it on but in the app image you can't turn this on anyway so I've also found that when I turn it on, um, some of the effects and transitions don't really render correctly. So I'm going to leave this unchecked. Okay, so we're going full force, just CPU. And to be honest with you, I don't really care if um, it's the CPU that's being used or if it's the graphics card that's being used. What I care about is performance. And what I care about is like how long the rendering times are going to be. Obviously, the lower the rendering times, the better okay so we'll leave that there we'll click OK so we're done making our performance tweaks and you should notice um, if you have bumped those numbers up uh, performance increase when you're doing your editing well I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that here but I'm gonna be able to demonstrate some of the rendering times so we'll try to lower the rendering times now so we'll do a test render and we're going to render this project out, giving it a name here, just test. We'll choose the MP4 format. This is probably going to be unchecked parallel processing by default. So we'll leave it unchecked for now to demonstrate the differences. 
and the encoder speed we'll leave it default and the threads is at 2 so this is probably the default and we'll try to render the file and see what kind of rendering time we get so just bear with me uh, this has to calculate so here we are so it's telling me it needs about 18 minutes to render for a 16 minute video so that's not too bad right um, but in my experience in the past before I made those tweaks um, some of the render times would be you know 10 minutes for a 3 minute video 15 minutes for a 5 minute video and that's a long time you know for some really short videos so I'll just abort this job and we're gonna make those rendering tweaks so we'll go back to render go back to render project I'm gonna enable parallel processing and I'm gonna bump the threads up to six again I would like the threads to work in pairs I've had better success putting in an even number you can experiment but I've done the experiments for you uh, what's worked is if you do them in pairs so four six eight you know I don't want to put it up to eight like I said so I'll just leave it at six we'll render the file and we'll see what kind of time change that we've got so we've shaved up some time originally we were I believe it was like at 18 minutes now it's around 14 yeah it just dropped down to 13 and I am running um, OBS desktop to record my screen here in the background so you could get some better performance if you're just leaving Caden Live totally to use your system's resources. So there you go. Um, I'm going to abort that job because I've already done that. The last thing I'm going to show you are just some screenshots because I've done this project. I've rendered it out with nothing else running in the background. And this one, this screenshot is using the app image. So for a 16 minute video, it actually rendered in 11 minutes 44 seconds so that's pretty good compared to the 18 minutes right so uh, we've shaved off some time and I tried it with the flat pack version so these are the results with the flat pack version so 11 minutes 45 so they're pretty close to each other there's not really that much of a difference I think it was like one second or something like that have a check yeah 44 yeah one second one second difference so it doesn't matter so it should work for the flat pack version and the app image version if you're on Linux anyway guys let me know how you go uh, try to make the tweaks I know some people have made comments about you know their frustrations with the long rendering times but Caden live is a really good program so let me know um, if this works for you and hopefully this has helped you out again best way to, uh, to support the channel is to subscribe, give the video a like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.